Meet Albert Cashier, an exemplary soldier who fought for the Union in the Civil War and unbeknownst to anyone in his life was assigned female at birth. Cashier was born in 1843. Not much is known about his early life except for the fact that he arrived in the U.S. as a teenager and settled in Illinois. He enlisted in the Civil War in July of 1862 under the name Albert D.J. Cashier. He fought in roughly 40 battles, was captured and escaped, and served the Union until the war ended. Following the war's end, he continued to live his life as Albert Cashier without any issues for decades. Later in life, however, he fell ill and the sex he was assigned at birth was discovered at least three times. The first two times his secret was kept, but unfortunately the third time it wasn't. In 1914, he was admitted to the Watertown State Hospital after developing dementia. Upon staff discovering the sex he was assigned at birth, he was forced to wear women's clothes and was investigated for fraud for lying about his gender to collect a military pension. Fortunately, after speaking with the men who served with him, the Veterans Pension Board ruled in his favor and he received his pension for the rest of his life. Finally, at the end of his life, Cashier was buried in a full military uniform and his tombstone read the name Albert DJ Cashier, allowing him to rest as his authentic self.